What's up everyone, I'm Poker Trainer Nick, and in this video we are going to be playing some Pokemon trading card game online. So this is going to be an introduction video, so if you've never played the Pokemon trading card game, or you have no experience with the online game, well this is the video for you. So if you've been opening up physical booster packs, you probably remember those code cards that come in them. So those code cards are actually for the Pokemon trading card game online. Now you don't need code cards from booster packs in order to participate. When you start the game, and I'm going to show you in this particular video, they give you some cards to work with so that way you can have some fun. The booster pack code cards just give you extra cards so that way you can build custom decks and have even more fun when it comes to that online trading card game. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe to the channel. Drop me a comment. I want to hear from you. If you want to play me online sometime, I'd also love to hear that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my display. So we're not going to open up a code card pack yet. Uh, instead, this is the actual desktop client for the Pokemon trading card game online. I also have it on my iPad. You know what? I haven't actually played it on my desktop before. I usually play it on my iPad from the couch. It's super fun. It kind of re-educated me on the topic of Pokemon trading cards for actually gameplay. So for context, I've been collecting Pokemon cards since 1999 when I was a kid. Uh, I used to play the game back then. I know that the game has changed a lot since then, and I really had to re-educate myself on how to play. Now, the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online is a perfect way to do that because they have a very well-done interactive tutorial that gets you started. So let's go ahead and play a game. Or actually, let's go ahead and navigate this application and become a little bit more familiar with what we see. Uh, so what we happen to, so what we have is when we hit the play button here, we have the opportunity to do a trainer's challenge uh, or a versus match or any kind of events, or we can even visit the tutorial mode again, which is kind of mandatory when you first create an account and start playing this game. So the trainer challenge, and we won't actually play, we're just going to look at it. So the trainer challenge, they give you some decks to choose from. You don't get to create these decks yourself and you have to use these decks and beat the challenges. Now, every time you beat a challenge, you get a, a mystery prize, and it looks like this time it's a, a booster pack. Usually you get points, so that way you can apply them towards booster packs. These are digital booster packs. I don't think you actually have to pay anything inside of this application. I think it's all fun. So you, you actually get digital booster packs either by opening physical packs or by collecting points from actually playing other players, challenges, events, etc. Let's go ahead and switch through. The versus match, this is where we would actually uh, challenge somebody online. You can use your own deck in this particular scenario. So I've created my own deck. I actually used most of the cards that they gave me uh, as far as uh, kind of starting the Pokemon trading card game online. Totally up to you. Uh, we can view the cards that I have. So let's go ahead and look at my collection. So this is my collection of cards. And I have to say that most of these cards actually came provided to me. I think I've only entered uh, maybe one booster pack. Um, I've gotten a lot of free packs based on um, actually playing the game and, and kind of familiarizing myself with the actual gameplay experience. They give you some decent cards, to make some decent decks. And you can sort by Pokemon, you can sort by trainer, energy, uh, packs. So I don't, I don't have any packs that are available to be opened right now, uh, but I could look through all the Pokemon that I've obtained. Um, and it gives you information. And these, these are actual Pokemon cards. So these are digital versions of the Pokemon cards that you can open it up in any set. So whether that be Cosmic Eclipse, Battle Styles, uh, Vivid Voltage. Uh, now there are certain rules that go around each of the packs. Um, I haven't, I have I honestly haven't figured out all of those rules yet. So there's like a standard mode of play. There's an extended mode. These are all, all have to do with tournaments and stuff like that. Um, but to have fun, you don't need to know about that stuff. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have some fun, we're gonna play a game, and then I'm gonna redeem a, a Pokemon card pack. Uh, so let's go ahead and click play. I'm gonna do the trainer's challenge. I'm gonna use one of their decks. And I must say that I've tried playing this a few times now and I've, I've lost pretty much every single time. I'm not a pro. Um, the, the decks that they give you, they're not the best. There's, there's a certain luck aspect of it as well, uh, because you have to end up with the right Pokemon cards at the right time to defeat your opponent. So let's go ahead and use the electric deck. I'm gonna hit play. I didn't get to choose my avatar. I did get to change, uh, choose my name, which is Pokemon Poke Trainer Nick. So it sounds familiar. Uh, and this is the nice experience that you get. All right, so choose an active, uh, choose a Pokemon to be your active Pokemon. So I've got a few down at the bottom. I've got a Fira, a Rattata, 
Magnemite, and Voltorb. Um, so I'm actually going to add all of the base, uh, basic forms to my, um, actually this is for active Pokemon. So my active Pokemon, I'm gonna gamble uh, and I'm gonna say that I'm gonna use, uh, actually it doesn't look like any of these Pokemon do damage. Um, so we have what? Draw a card, switch this Pokemon with a benched, paralyze, that's not too bad, and paralyze. Looks like the Voltorb might be my best bet. Oh, it explosion, 60 damage to itself. So this is an instant kill. Uh, I'm gonna go with that. All right, choose Pokemon to start on my bench. I have the opportunity to choose all basic Pokemon to start on my bench. I don't get to choose my Fero because I don't have a Spiro to go with it. It looks like the opponent used some trainer cards. And this is the, the NPC. I'm not, I'm not battling somebody online right now. All right, so it's my turn. Um, let's see what my trainer cards are. Look at the top two cards. Uh, put one of them in my hand. Draw three cards. Uh, discard two. I don't think I want to use that one yet. Um, I do need an energy, um, so I'll do that. Uh, you, when you, when you play the game every turn, you have the opportunity to attach one energy to one of your benched Pokemon or your active Pokemon. Uh, next up, let's go ahead and I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and use this trainer card, draw three cards. So I'm gonna drag it um, into my active and it's gonna take three cards, great. I cannot attach another energy card because I've already done that. Uh, I can use other trainer cards though. Um, so let's go ahead and see, um, look at the top two cards of your deck and put one of them in your hand, discard the other. Uh, that's kind of a gamble right now, I'm just gonna attack I think. I'm gonna attack the only way I can, which is Thunder Wave. Hopefully the, oh, it didn't work. So the opponent uh, was not paralyzed. It's their turn, they're picking some trainer cards. It looks like they flushed their hand. And they haven't done any damage to me yet. Um, so uh, Pydev has 60 HP. I could, I could wipe it out. I, what is the trainer card that it has on it? Special conditions and immune to special conditions. All right, uh, I could wipe it out and I think I might actually do that. So let's go ahead and uh, do that uh, big explosion. Uh, but before I do that, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Big explosion, here we go. We both, we both got crushed. So I did get to knock out the Pokemon. So I do get to pick one of my prize cards to add to my hand. Oh, the trainer card. So the prize cards are part of my deck. It's just six that I get to choose from. Um, so Kangaskhan, well, that's not a Kangaskhan. That's a Bidoof. Not very powerful. Uh, let's go ahead and attach a Magnemite. All right, you just evolved it. being put to sleep now. I was put to sleep. Wonderful. All right. I'm going to assume that I'm going to survive this. So I'm going to attach some energy to it. And I am going to gamble with the bicycle. I'm going to pick one card, discard the other. Um, and take the EV because I think I have a Jolteon in my, desk, uh, in my deck, but I'm not sure, honestly. I'm going to hit done. I'm gonna put Eevee in my in my bench. And nothing really I can do. So I'm gonna skip. Looks like I woke up. Oh, Snorlax. So Snorlax is the one that kills me every time I play this, this one. Just so good. I right, drag this one in. Uh, looks like I'm asleep again. I'm gonna attach another energy. What do we got? What, what was the trainer card again? Shuffle your hand into my deck. I'm gonna use it. I think I need some better cards. Ah, all right, not too bad. I got some Pikachus in there. Got a, a Voltorb. I'll say done.
All right, not asleep, that's good. Uh, so let's go ahead and don't forget to attach an energy card during your turn. I often forget sometimes. Uh, so I'm gonna attach an energy card to Pikachu. What is this trainer? Search your deck for up to three Pokemon, reveal them and put them into your hand. Not bad. All right, so Kangaskhan, yeah, there we go. I could go the Spearow and Fearow route, which might be a good one. I don't see a Raichu in there. Let's go with Spearow and Fearow. There we go. Sweet. All right, and I am going to attack. Oh, he's getting Snorlax ready. Worried. Wow, that was a powerful one. All right, uh, that didn't expect that one. Let's go ahead and get Pikachu on the board, I guess. Let's get uh, Spiro into my hand. I don't think I can evolve it yet. I think I have to wait till my next turn. I'm gonna attach another lightning energy. Pikachu. And I am going to hope that agility keeps working. Oh, all right, so no damage on me next round. That's good. Okay. Got another Eevee. I'm going to attach uh, this to Voltorb. It's gonna be my way out. I'm probably gonna have to self-destruct Voltorb to get rid of that Snorlax. I can see it coming. Hope I get lucky again. I did. It can't do damage to me. It does work. Yeah, agility. Perfect. Yeah, all right. Thank goodness for that agility. All right, gonna attach this to my Voltorb. And I'm gonna do another agility. Hopefully I get lucky again. Oh, I did not, so hopefully, I think he's probably gonna kill me right now. It does 80 damage. Oh my goodness. It's a powerful attack right there. All right, um, so I don't want to. I don't want to take up my Voltorb yet. Uh, let's go ahead and. Uh, man, this isn't good. I'll go with Eevee. I'm going to evolve my Spearow. And. All right, I'm gonna attach it to the Eevee. Now I'm gonna. I'm gonna cross my fingers here. I'm gonna put Kangaskhan in, in my bench here. And I am going to tackle. Pokemon has a, a ton of HP. Oh my goodness, he's got so much more. They give you such a crippled deck for uh, for this challenge. I guess that's why it's called a challenge. All right, if I can get some energy cards, you know, maybe I can paralyze them. Attach this to Kangaskhan. Maybe I can get to four energies and then start doing uh, 100 damage each. That could, my, that could be my way out. All right, he should be paralyzed. I don't think he'll be able to attack. All right, let's see. Uh, oof, we... We're not doing so well. We need some energies. Otherwise, we're we're out of luck here. You can chew on the board. Uh, maybe you can't get paralyzed because of this. Immune to special conditions. I assume maybe paralysis is a special condition. He's got 60. I think I might as well end it. All 
All right, I really need some energy. Otherwise, this is not gonna go well. Yeah, all right, perfect. All right, I think I could take him out. I'm gonna attach, uh, I'm gonna put Kangaskhan out there. And I'm gonna attach lightning energy. And start bringing on the tiny punches. Perfect. Getting sort of lucky. All right. Honey punch. One more enemy, and I can start bringing some serious damage in here. I think he's gonna bring Snorlax in now. See it. Oh, no. No good. Maybe I got this. All right. Catch it to Kangaskhan. I'm gonna draw three cards. And what is this trainer card? I'm damaged by an opponent's attack. Draw two cards. Uh, I kind of like that. I'm gonna attach it. See what this trainer card is. I'm gonna skip on that one. One thing I didn't mention is these uh, lightning energies. Um, so it's it it uh, wants colorless energy. So that means that you can attach any energy to fill that uh, need. Whereas the Magnemite requires a lightning energy for shock generator. Um, so it has to be a lightning energy for that move. Um, so something to something to be aware of. All right. So let's go ahead and crush him with a, a Mega Punch. And I'm basically going to do that every time now. And hopefully. That brings us to uh, success. Because most of his Pokemon are gonna. Uh, most of his Pokemon are not. Uh, are less than 100. Alright, so I'm gonna attach some energy to a Magnemite here. And I'm going to do Mega Punch. Ooh, defended itself. Alright. That must have been its other attack, Scrunch. All right. Hero. All right. Don't need that, but let's go ahead and attach another lightning energy. Mega Punch. Take him out. So if I get both of these cards, the game is over, I win. So one more one more kill and I, and I win. So Lickitung has 90. I just need one attack and I'm good to go, unless I'm is that a paralysis type move? Oh, nothing. All right. So basically, uh, this match is over, it sounds like. Let's go ahead and do Mega Punch. Damage. And victory. All right. Oh, so I got a, a new card for winning that particular battle. So it doesn't look like I, maybe I didn't get a booster pack, I got a card. Perfect. Uh, oh, it, I have to, it looks like I have to win it maybe four times, or maybe that's how, how well of my victory was. <laughs> maybe I only got one star. I don't know, I'm very new to the, the Pokemon trading card game online, um, so I'm definitely not a seasoned veteran, and I'm still getting back into the actual playing of the Pokemon trading card game. Um, so it's, it's been some time, the rules have changed a little bit, but uh, get, getting better. So what I'm gonna do now, uh, since you kind of saw how, how that works, I'm gonna open up a booster pack and we're gonna, we're gonna enter in that uh, code card. So I actually have some booster packs with me. Um, we're just gonna open up one. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this, this one uh, Vivid Voltage pack. So Vivid Voltage, uh, Maria actually found this one for me uh, at Best Buy, so Best Buy Online. I don't, so I live in Tracy. Most of the stores over here, I don't think they carry Pokemon cards anymore. The, the scalpers and the people trying to buy cards, they're getting so out of control that the stores just aren't gonna deal with it anymore. So online is where we get most of our stuff nowadays. So I'm gonna crack it open. Uh, get rid of this. Got a lot of dog hair on my shirt. Uh, let's go ahead and crack open this pack. So 
this is a vivid voltage pack. This is one of my favorite packs. Um, so code card I am going to use. So I'm going to use it uh, for myself. I'm not giving that one away this time. Um, so one, two, three, four, I think is the number. So we've got an energy here. Uh, Nuzleaf. Opal. B. Shepet. Ferroseed. Joltik. Sandile. Is that, that's not my reverse hollow. C dot. Zamazenta. All right. This is actually good. So uh, Maria and Erica actually pulled one of these not too long ago. Um, so these are, I guess, common in our house household. I'll take it any day. These, these amazing rares uh, and amazing because of the amazing A down there. These are really good cards. So let's go ahead and see what else we've got. Uh, and we have a Durludon. Um, so not bad. I like the amazing rare better, uh, but not bad. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these off to the side. Not a bad pack. All right. So if I go back to uh, the game here, let's go ahead and try to enter it in. So I'm going to go to, uh, I think it's in my store. Yeah. All right. Claim my reward, submit code. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and type it in. I'll bring my keyboard back here. All right. So all right, that should be the code. I'm going to submit it. Vivid voltage, uh, claim now. Gave me a darkness of blades. Maybe, maybe it doesn't give this is, I think this is the first one I redeemed uh, from a physical pack. So let's go ahead and say done. Uh, maybe it gave me a, other packs just for redeeming. I'm going to click done and I'm going to go back into uh, my collection and I'm going to go to packs. So it looks like it gave me bonus packs just for, re, for redeeming. So that was my vivid voltage right here. Um, so I am going to see if I can open it. I'm going to open up this vivid voltage pack. I'm going to rip it. All right, no amazing. So that's my reverse hollow. And I'm going to see what I got as my rare. Hopefully it's an ultra. Oh man, that. I don't, I don't know. I'm not familiar with that one. It's uh, evolves from Shuppet. Uh, it doesn't look as good as it could be though. Uh, so let's go ahead and say done. Let's go ahead and open up those other packs since we have them. Looks like we have two. All right, let's see what we got as our uh, rare. Uh, not bad. It's actually a good battling Pokemon. 70 damage. Oh, but then you got to switch your Pokemon with your bench Pokemon. All right, still not that bad. Let's go ahead and open up another one. It's our last one. Let's go ahead and open it. Let's see what we got. Uh, oh, wow. All right. Jeez, 180 damage. Uh, evolves from Golit. It's a Golurk. Not bad. I don't think I have a, uh, a Golet, but uh, if I ever get one, then that will be a valuable asset to my deck. All right, so I'm gonna hit done. All right, so we got some good cards. We redeemed our code card. We somehow ended up with three booster packs out of it. Not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and look at um, our Pokemon now. Um, so it should be added in here. Uh, I don't know, I have a lot of cards. I don't know if there's a better way to do this. Let's see, Tile. Yeah, there we go. So uh, they give you quite a few cards. Like they give you the legendary birds. That's pretty good in my opinion. Um, as far as the other cards go, I don't, I don't know where where they just dropped that one card that that I got. The Go Lurk. Probably search for it. Yeah, Go Lurk. It's right there. Um, so not bad. Now if I go to my deck manager, um, as far as the decks go. So I created a custom deck. I can view it. Um, this is pretty cool because you can build custom decks out of your cards in your collection. So I created a fire and lightning deck, um, which isn't bad. 
I got, I did decent when I played online, um, but it was still fun uh, that I got to create my own deck because I can create it online, prototype it with this Pokemon trading card online game, and then I can try to establish this deck, uh, a physical copy, and use it for battling uh, with a physical deck. Because like I said, the cards that you see in the Pokemon trading card game online, they're the same cards that you can get physical copies of, and the rules will still be the same. Um, so this is a good uh, kind of prototype educational use case for this uh, online game. Uh, it's actually pretty fun. Uh, so I just wanted to share kind of an introduction to the Pokemon trading card game online, uh, which to me was a great introduction for just playing the Pokemon trading card game in general. It's one thing to collect the cards, which is still very awesome to do, but it's actually really fun to play as well. And like I said earlier in this video, I actually play this on my tablet, so my iPad. Uh, play it from the couch. It's pretty convenient. I know Erica loves to play it with me. Um, so it's, it's a whole lot of fun. Go ahead and hit that like button on this video. Before you leave, subscribe to the YouTube channel and drop me a comment. If you have some good experiences playing this game, let me know. Um, I'd love to hear it. Uh, as far as other card pack openings go, I may or may not be giving away my code cards. I may actually keep the code cards and put them in this game because you know what? I feel like I'm having more fun with the game online than I thought I would be. So you never know. It depends on how I feel that particular day. Um, but you may or may not receive code cards from me. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Until next time, have a great rest of your day.